We have been testing the framework for the measurement and monitoring of safety in Scotland. We believe that it can be helpful to individuals, teams and organisations by supporting them to standardise conversations around safety and quality. By building a clearer understanding of safety, it can support us to develop an improved open learning culture. The framework consists of five dimensions to help us answer the question, how safe is our care? These dimensions are past harm. Has patient care been safe in the past? Reliability. Are our clinical systems and processes reliable? Sensitivity to operations. Is care safe today? Anticipation and preparedness. Will care be safe in the future? And integration and learning. Are we responding and improving? The framework uses these prompt questions to help broaden our understanding of safety. Colleagues in NHS Greater Glasgow and Clyde have been testing the framework to support learning from adverse events. So this is a forum where we can regularly meet, we can candidly discuss about errors and harm and you know, learn together how to prevent it. We have an initial introduction about uh, the duty on candor and an awareness about the, the framework. And after that, it's a junior doctor who does present a case of uh, recent harm and error they have been uh, involved with. And then we analyze uh, the case uh, uh, with uh, the framework as a tool. So when the juniors see that the consultants are openly discussing about you know, errors and harms they have made, they open up. It also uh, helps uh, flip uh, negative emotions, negative incidents into a potentially positive learning experience. So the framework helped uh, to uh, create a structured conversation and also it helped me you know, like to have a consistent approach. It also helps you know to create a common language. We have found that uh, the doctors you know suddenly realize that uh, uh, it's just the system that is at fault and it's not their individual errors. Getting involved with the framework, I think it's it's very valuable because it helps you to um, analyse events in a lot more detail and that way it helps you to try and put systems in place to, to stop that happening again in the future. It's important to talk about these things uh, because then you can offload sort of negative feelings of anxiety and guilt. I feel that it's improved me as a doctor. I think I've got a grasp of the tool now and, and I can take that forward in my future career. It can be very difficult for the first time to say, look, I have made a mistake, but um, this framework does help you um, get, get the evidence and get you there. It's not just for the doctors, not just for the nurses, it's for everybody. People are more willing to come forward. Uh, they're more willing to discuss their issues. Using this framework, we can not only support staff and keep patients safe by giving the, the network and the framework to investigate harm that may happen. But also, going into the future, we look forward and using the experience we've learned from this, um, this framework and the system to prevent the next harm or the next potential harm next week, next month, next year. Thank you very much. Uh, back to business again. <laughs> Thank you. For more information on the framework for the measurement and monitoring of safety, visit howsafeisourcare.com.